had an opportunity to really know these young people. They go through so much. And to hear them just tell God that everything that they have is his means so much. Not only to me, but I know it means so much to God. We can't write off this generation. We can't write them off. God showed me that cars depreciate, houses appreciate. And so we never know. We never know where people will be 10, 20 years from now. He showed me that in the same way cars depreciate and houses appreciate. We were paid with the price. His blood that was shed on the cross for us. And so we are a purchased item. And so we cannot write off this generation to talk about them as if we know that they're depreciating. But we have to speak those things that are not as though they are. We look at them as being this costly, this valuable right now. But God paid a price for them that even we couldn't pay. So I don't look at them as change. I see them as riches, as riches. We are as kings and queens. And I've learned that we have the right to walk into any atmosphere and command the authority in Jesus Christ. We can take command of that atmosphere. I've heard it said before that we are change agents. We are change agents. So often we get afraid and we run away from darkness, but the Bible says that darkness is intimidated by light. It's intimidated by light. And just because young people haven't been here for very long doesn't mean that their lights have to be dim or small. The same way God used Jeremiah and David, he can use each and every one of these, each and every one of you. I thank God that there is no qualification when it comes to age. It's about how yielded you are. He's not looking for silver or golden vessels. He's looking for yielded vessels. And I don't have to beg them to be up here. They're asking me, when are we singing? When can we minister? I thank God for that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to encourage everyone to know how much you are worth, what your value is. Your value is not contingent on what a man or a woman says about you, but it's about not only what God says about you, but how much he paid for you. We are who God says we are. We are who God says we are. Please don't allow Satan to prostitute you by luring you with the worldly things, with, with jewelry and money. I asked this question some time ago, when did we become so cheap that we sold ourselves to Satan? I thank God for the blood that was shed for us. And this blood, like it was yesterday, today, and always, will always be so very valuable. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you all so much. God bless you. I want to. Uh